So, uh, hello again, Kinefinity users. Um, I don't know if you remember my last uh, video where I showed um, a normal stabilizer uh, put uh, on top of a Steadicam sled. There were some minor uh, imperfections with that design. So I decided to uh, move along and build something closer to Ari Trinity and I'll explain why I chose uh, this design. Uh, as you can see, this is what I'm uh, talking about. The design is really reminiscent of uh, um, Ari Trinity. Uh, and you have some advantages over the normal um, uh, stabilizer. Uh, the stabilizer is uh, right now on. Um, I have uh, power in, on off switch of course, SDI out, uh, right now it's not activated because I don't have a slip ring yet, but I will put a slip ring when I uh, uh, feel the need. For the time being, uh, the transmission is um, Wi-Fi, it's a um, uh, wireless transmission, camera is, uh, the HDMI out of the camera is uh, um, insert into this transmitter here and uh, the monitor in the back has a receiver. These are the cheapest receiver I could find on AliExpress. However, they uh, do the job for the time being. But of course, uh, I would like to have an SDI output, clean output uh, to see the image uh, better. Uh, but uh, you'll be surprised. Uh, this image is quite enough to be able to judge the focus. Uh, I showed you the movement that you can do with the remote control with this head. Um, and the best part of this head is the fact that uh, regardless of the position of the pitch angle, you can still do a 360 with this um, uh, roll motor. I'm not going full speed because um, um, I don't like the belt noise of this uh, However, the camera can move uh, 360 degrees. If I go slower, I can go continuously. And you can do this regardless of the position of the uh, uh, stabilizer. So, uh, uh, if I only take into account this advantage of this kind of stabilizer, I'm uh, pretty happy with the, uh, with the solution. So, right now I'm... Um, I'll try to show you exactly how it works. Um, and if I remember something else, I will uh, uh, continue. I plan to uh, do a video um, showing some um, um, filming with this uh, thing to see uh, how, it's, uh, how it's performing in real life. Uh, oh yeah, I, was, uh, I wanted to show you the the, the wireless focus, so yes, there is focus on the camera, so as you can see here, the, um, uh, there is a thumb controller here on the uh, Steadicam uh, handle or gimbal, and I can uh, control the focus. Not really fond of that wireless transmission, but uh, for the time being, this is what I have. So. I will uh, put my arm, uh, steady cam arm. And without further ado, let's see what's the, what this uh, thing is capable of. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, let's start the camera. Okay, why not? This is the image that you can get from the from the camera wirelessly. Can you please come over and turn the monitor a bit? So 
So this kind of quality that you get, there is not too much uh, lag on the image. However, the image looks like you're watching a TV. It's not like a, it's like an analog TV, not like a digital one. But the quality is not really bad. However, in the shadows, you can see some lines. I tried many channels, but the quality is about the same. This is what's going on. Um, as you can see, the horizon of the camera is already all the time stabilized. You can rotate this. Uh, even 360, I'm not going to do it right now, but you can do that. Uh, and you have that famous motion that they do. And you can rotate and exaggerate back the movement to be like this. And you can see the movement of the camera is uh, already all the time stabilized. Uh, you can go all the way down here. And you can uh, have some very nice uh, um, filming from that angle. Uh, of course, you can also do this and when you get to that position, you have the control of the angle like this, so you can go down or up, because right now this movement of the camera is not stabilized, you can see there are no motors to stabilize this movement, so this remains to your hand. Going back. From a low angle up to a high angle. course if I had the remote control handy I'll think of a way to mount the, the remote control to my thumb here you can uh, of course uh, control the rotation of the camera by remote control either the pitch or the roll angle okay so I guess that's about it. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'm looking forward to see your comments. Thanks again.